Hi, I'm Peter Charles of Hooked for Life Fly Fishing, and welcome to my Beginner's Fly Tying series. Now, today we're going to tie the Kings River Caddis. It's a simple tie, it's a dry fly. Uh, it's uh, an opportunity for you to learn how to double body, how to tie in a quill wing, and how to tie on dry fly hackle. It's uh, an imitation of the Ryacophilia, or the green rock worm, the common name for it. And this particular insect lives in brook trout water. In other words, fast flowing, cold, highly oxygenated. It's a great brook trout fly and I've caught lots, lots on it. I've also caught uh, landlocked salmon, a rainbow and browns as well. It's a very, very useful pattern and it's great for any time that uh, the caddis are hatching. So let's get started. Let's start by looking at materials. We're gonna use a size 16 dry fly hook. Uh, I should mention uh, that this fly is basically a size 14, but we're going to use a size 16 hook because the body's so small. Our thread is uh, olive 8 aught. Our dry fly hackle is uh, a brown, and we're going to use some of these shorter feathers. And our wing is a turkey quill. The body is a caddis green, and we're going to dub that. Okay, let's start off by tying on our thread. Start just behind the eye of the hook. Cut the tag off. Now we're going to continue winding back. I'm going to lay a base of thread on the shank of the hook. And that's going to help keep our wing from slipping around. Okay, now I'm going to apply a little wax. A little bit of dubbing. Now the uh, caddis body isn't very big, which is the reason why we're using a size 16 hook and not a 14, but it is kind of chunky. If you ever take the trouble to turn a caddis over, you'll see that the wing is much bigger than the body. The body is a this short little um, plump thing. So that's what I'm going to imitate here. I'm not going to go much further than about 60% of the hook, sh hook shank. There we go. That's good. Now for our wing, here's my turkey slip. I'm going to come in here and just take off a little less than 3 sixteenths. And then I'll just come in with my scissors and cut that off. Now normally if you've seen other people do this pattern, they'll use two slips for matching uh, feathers. And that's a very nice way to tie, um, but it's a little bit more work, a little bit more effort, and I think in the long run doesn't do anything to improve the uh, overall fish catching ability of the fly. So I'm cheating a little bit here. I'm going to use one, and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to square off the end first. There we go. And then I'm going to just put this and fold it over. Just going to wind that on. I'm just going to make sure it's even on both sides. Now I'm just going to fold that and I'm going to come in well behind the gape of the hook and cut off the slip. So now we've got roughly the shape of our caddis wing, all in one piece. Nice and easy to do. You know, when you're tying flies to catch fish, it doesn't hurt to take the odd shortcut when it doesn't really make any difference in how the fly actually fishes. In this case, this is one example of taking that shortcut. Now I'm going to find a feather whose barbs are roughly twice the gape of the hook. Normally we would use something that's around one and a half times, but again, this is an undersized hook for the size of the fly. Now, dry fly hackle comes in with a shiny side and a dull side. We tie it in with the shiny side facing us so that when we begin to wrap it, it puts that shiny side forward. Okay. Now just take a half-inch tool and I'll just 
put a couple of half hitches right behind the eye. And this is a rotary vise I'm using, so I'm going to just hang my bobbin out of the way. Now this is the tricky bit. We don't want to break this very delicate dry fly hackle, so you have to proceed rather carefully. We want to wind our hackle on with the winds going in front of the previous wind. There we go. Now sometimes these pop off, I'm not going to take the chance, I'm just going to. And the last step is to put in our wet finish. Okay, we're ready for some head cement. I like to use a water base head cement. Just flow that in there. That sealed it off. And there we go, we're ready to go fishing. There's our Kings River Caddis, all ready to catch us some brookies. Very easy to tie, very quick, and very, very effective. Enjoy.